Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here in this, we'll take the very uh, important example on convolution theorem. Okay, so let us start with the problem. So as you can see here, we have to make use of convolution theorem to prove by using convolution theorem proof z inverse of e to the power 2 z is 2 to the power n upon n factorial the question may be asked like this or something like by using convolution theorem find z inverse of this second variety now the next one if the uh, this first statement is uh, written it is uh, well understood that we have to make use of the convolution theorem right so we will adopt the procedure that we have adopted uh, in the first example and likewise we can solve whereas if the equation is asked like this show that 1 upon n factorial convolution with 1 upon n factorial is 2 to the power n upon n factorial then how could we get that we have to make use of the convolution theorem in this example to prove this result so that is understood by this convolution operator okay so let us start with this problem so whether it is the first one or the second one let us start with this starting is uh, same in both the solution so we always look for f of z and g of z okay so what is my f of z z inverse of this so you can write to find to find z inverse of e power 2 by z so how can you write this e to the power 2 by z as a product so i want you to Pause the video for a few seconds, try to write down this as a product of two functions and then resume the video. Take your time and resume the video. So I hope you might have written this e to the power 2z as that is to find that is to find or prove z inverse of e to the power 1 by z into e to the power 1 by z simple now let us take one function to be f of z and second one to be g of z simple let f of z is equal to e power 1 by z and g of z to be also e power 1 by z okay now try to get f of n and g of n now before uh, without finding this can anyone tell me what would be f of n and g of n yes we have f of z this and this so what would be my answer my question is if f of z is this then what would be f of n and g of n without calculating the answer is here z z inverse of e power 1 by z is 1 upon factorial n if you don't know then you should remember this because we have uh, taken problem on uh, this also when we were learning the z transform okay so either you remember or take help of the problem given problem okay so this is one upon n factorial this is n upon uh, one upon n factorial now make use of the convolution theorem by convolution theorem by convolution theorem we have so what we have z inverse of z inverse of sorry f of z into g of z is equal to f of n 
convolution operator g of n is also same as summation n is equal to 0 to sorry not n equal to m is equal to 0 to n f of n into g of n minus m okay we have this f of n and g of n 1 upon factorial n 1 upon factorial n and this is same as this okay so you can write it here like summation m is equal to 0 to n 1 upon m factorial into 1 upon n minus m factorial okay now expand this summation so what we have in left in left hand side we have e bar 1 by z e bar 1 by z is equal to this so this implies law of indices z inverse of e power 2 by z is same as what is it 1 upon n factorial convolution operator 1 upon n factorial is equal to what is it now apply the summation put m is equal to 0 so we will be getting 1 upon 0 factorial into 1 upon n minus 0 is n factorial so let me write it here because there are so many terms we have so i am expanding this okay i have written this and this is equal to this so i am expanding this now don't have uh, much space here to write that's why i'm writing here so m is equal to zero so zero factorial one upon n factorial plus one upon one factorial one upon n minus one factorial plus one upon two factorial into one upon factorial n minus two plus and so on what would be the last term the last term would be 1 upon n factorial m is equal to n and n minus n so this is 1 upon factorial 0 and you know that that the 0 factorial is 1 right so 0 factorial is 1 so 1 upon 1 1 so we remain with 1 upon factorial n plus 1 upon 1 factorial into 1 upon n minus 1 factorial plus 1 upon 2 factorial into 1 upon n minus 2 factorial plus and so on 1 upon n factorial okay so now we can uh, we can do some mathematical adjustment to get the result okay so what i will do here is now the c here this is the very important step of this problem that we are writing now the adjustment mathematical adjustment so this is one upon factorial n okay plus here what i am going to do is i am going to multiply and divide by n factorial so this is n factorial upon n factorial into 1 upon n minus 1 factorial 1 factorial is 1 if you want you can write that just missed out plus 1 n factorial upon n factorial 1 upon n minus 2 factorial into 1 by 2 factorial plus no need to adjust here 1 upon factorial n okay now as you can see in each and every term we have 1 upon n factorial common so we can write 1 upon n factorial common from the denominator okay so we remain with 1 plus n factorial outside now this n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial upon 
n minus 1 factorial okay into 1 upon 1 factorial as it is just to get the filling of one expansion i am writing this as it is otherwise it is just 1 okay then for n factorial outside this is this can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial upon n minus 2 factorial okay into 1 by 2 factorial plus and so on 1 because we have taken factorial n outside okay now Uh, okay, so let me drop this now. Can you just see here? I have taken 1 upon n factorial outside. And what I remain with now is 1. This get cancel with this. This get cancel with this. Okay, so 1 plus n. plus n into n minus 1 by factorial 2 plus and so on plus 1. Now what is this? What is this? This is binomial expansion of a plus b power n where a is 1 and b is also 1. So this is 1 upon n factorial. What is this? This is binomial expansion of 1 plus 1 power n by binomial theorem okay so what is it 1 plus 1 is 2 to the power n this is just this is just 2 to the power n upon n factorial simple so z inverse of e power 2 by z is this also also or you can write this is same as 1 upon factorial n convolution 1 upon factorial n so this is what we are looking for so whichever question is asked this or this accordingly you have to write down the solution so i hope the problem that we have taken is uh, clear to you and uh, if you are having any queries just go it once again and uh, still if uh, there is any query you can uh, contact me so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you